Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick weekend spread for you. Um, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. This could happen in the near future also, just not this weekend, okay? Um, thank you to those who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed to the channel. Alright, so let's jump into this Aquarius. Alright, so very, very good reading, Aquarius. Um, it looks like love and career and money. Things are turning around for you. What the cards want you to know that in the present, if you come out of stagnation, if you come out of maybe downplaying a job or a business or maybe even um, a move of like going back to school or learning something else. If you stop downplaying this, you could have some real prosperity here. You can have some real longevity in whatever it is you're doing. Uh, this is more so like someone having a business or that they, they're not putting their all into. It says that you can have um, success, public reward, uh, a firm foundation in whatever this is, this job, or if you need if you need to learn something new, or you, if you need to make a move that you need to move away from. It says that things are working behind the scenes for you, but there's also a suppression of your of um wow well, like suppression of, of of the expansion like you know that this could be big or you know that you have a good idea but you you downplay it in terms of well how will I get it out well how will I market it well how will I do this and you ask all you, you ask the right questions but with the wrong mindset it's saying that you need to really put your mind to whatever this is for you and it can really turn out well for you. People already like the work that you do. You're already getting praise for whatever it is you do here. And you like it also. But then there is like an air of being stuck and stagnant. Is this all to it? Is what you're asking yourself? You know a way out or a way to transform this job or this business. But some of you are staying stuck here. The cars want you to, to move. If it's going back to school, going back to, um, yeah, going back to school or getting a business partner or actually just doing more work, the more work effort time into the business or the job, this will really turn over for you. Um, it will because of, you have prosperity that lies ahead for you okay so do know that this is like some of you getting in it getting into alignment in regards to what you're supposed to be doing for the rest of your life the duration of this lifetime maybe some of your north node is in taurus if you don't know the north node go to cafe astrology Like, this is your life's work, and, but you've been downplaying it or, or just not really all in. You're not 100%. The cards say you can have what you want if you, if you turn up, if you show up. Because there's only one major arcana here. And it talks about maybe you lying to yourself, which in turn could be suppression. Some of you could be in a medical field or you're in a, a field where you have to practice some type of apathy, where you have to remain balanced or neutral in, in the situation. So some of you are you know, involved in that. Yeah, so.
some of you want to attend school, let's just go ahead and attend school. Some of you are keeping yourself stuck mentally because of these uh, subconscious thoughts. Like they're, they're, you brought about an inability to move, to act. So this is really all on you and you changing your mindset and your focus. You have to see this opportunity for what it is, whatever. I feel like this is for, for some of you, this is something you've already kind of involved yourself in, got your feet wet in, you know about, or, or you've been working in, or, you know, this is not something so new to the point where you, you know, you just don't even know if you do good at it. No, you, you've done this or you do this or something of that nature. The, um, the cards want you to awaken to the opportunity. Okay, because for some of you, the demeaning of the opportunity, I wouldn't say it's negative talk. You're not talking negative about this opportunity to go back to school or further your business or bring in a partner or whatever. You're not talking negative about it, but you are downplaying it, demeaning, you know, demeaning it. Um, so that's so then that calls for the distortion of the opportunity. Like you don't see it. You with this moon card here. Um things are fuzzy. And it may be fuzzy in terms of once again, you know, example, you downplaying the business. Oh, it's a hobby. Oh, I can't make a living off of it, but I have fun doing it. But what if you really could? Because you have the card of prosperity lies ahead. So I don't know what it is you're doing, but it could be really good for you. And it could bring you a lot of long-term stability and success. Um, so do know that. In terms of love, your inability to stay emotionally bound balanced kind of um, distorted your your perception of this particular person. Now what I see here is we have Cancer, we have Pisces we might even have a Scorpio here. I don't know why I'm seeing Scorpio in the High Priestess but I'm seeing it it looks like all the water signs are here, and it and it's pretty big. It could even be a fire sign. It could be Earth. It could be anybody. Okay, so don't get too hung up on the signs. Um, we've got Taurus here twice. Um, Gemini. Gemini again, Virgo. Uh, okay, so I hope that means something for you. But. Some of you, this could have been negative self-talk or downplaying how you felt about this person or how they felt about you to the point where you, you kind of got into a negative funk in this relationship to where you couldn't, you couldn't build. You could, it didn't get to a solid ground. There is the relationship, but there wasn't like a solid foundation because as soon as you, you got there with this person, it kind of all fell down. The cards want you to understand that maybe because you were suppressing your emotions or it was vice versa, um, someone was not being honest with themselves about a particular person. It could be you, it could be the other person. I don't know. Um, things, you know, just didn't work out. And, but the cards want you to, to see that this could be the one, this could be the the main male in your life, the number one person in your life. Um, the cards want you to understand and see clearly, see clearly, not in that moon, that fog, see clearly what you have or what you can make of this relationship. Someone may be stuck or bound to building with another person, but they would rather be with you. That's for some of you. I don't know what you could do with that information. Just knowing that someone would rather be with you. I don't know what you'll do with that. I don't know. Um, 
someone could have lied about how they felt about you or about their their own life or their own whereabouts. Finances could have taken a toll here in another person's relationship or in another person's life to where they couldn't focus on a relationship with you. Someone wants to know that you are the choice, but at this point, they can't put too much focus on you or, or a love relationship. Someone wants you to know that they miss you, they love you. Someone really wants to marry you. The, the feelings, the, the feelings, the emotions run deep with the moon card. So deep that sometimes this person doesn't necessarily express themselves uh, verbally. They're not, you know, they're not writing you four page letters. They're not, you know, reciting poems to you. It, that doesn't mean that the love isn't there. Cards want you to see the opportunity that you have with this person also. And you know your situation. You know if this person was toxic or, you know, a liar, cheater, and still is, then this might not be your story. But, you know, I don't know. Get a personal reading. If not from me, from somebody else. You know, you just, you just don't know until you know, right? Um, for some of you, things aren't. Going to how you planned, how you thought it would be. But the cards want you, to, want you to know that things are still working out. It just doesn't look like how you want it to look or feel like how you want it to feel. You don't control the narrative and you don't control another person. But things are really working out well for you. Stay out of the, the meaning of this relationship or this business relationship or this new job or business or, or uh, going back to school, it's this is you, Aquarius. Stay positive. Remain positive because in the near future, you're going to have prosperity, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles here. Very nice. Um, it looks like in love and career. The, the advice for you here is for you to, to know that a tough time, a burdensome time, a turbulent time, a disappointing time, a, a betrayal, um, it's over. It's over. It's over. It just doesn't get any worse. You, you, you've gone through the worst, and now it's better, or it will be getting better. It seems like some of you are in between two, two worlds, you know, like... Um, the tough and the great, you know, the tough times and and the great. You're right in between tough and, and greatness. So do know that because um, a pathway is opening up for you in career and, and finance and love and romance. Something is opening to you, okay? This could be something that has to do with, like, a, if you are an accountant or a numbers person, or if you have an at-home business, something of that nature, or, or it starts at home, I don't know. Or you have the plan. They said that the plan is in, it, in, in the working. Okay, so don't do too much. You know that things are working out for you, especially in love for some of you especially with a Piscean person or another Aquarius, it's working out for you. This is where you should be at this given time. This is Solomon's seal here. This is about knowledge, right? And the high priestess knows. That's why she's the woman in the background. Or, she's a, or if you're a man, you could be taking on the high priestess energy. Um... The person in the background. This is a for some of you, if you're in a relationship or embarking on one, this will be a very spiritual union. You have the high priestess and the hierophant here. This was meant to be with the lovers here. 
this could be a soulmate twin flame. I don't get too involved in those titles because it can get just confusing. Okay. Um, but if you want to have that stamp on your relationship, that's fine. No one should come after you for that. Um, you could be in like a yin and yang type of relationship, or this is that business opportunity or that job opportunity. This is, a um, you know, that you should be doing something different, that you should change your career or put a change in something that you're doing in your career or that you're destined to be with a particular person that um, you guys communicate. If not uh, physically, verbally, you communicate emotionally, spiritually. When you're apart, you feel the void. I mean, like you really feel it. There's something really dynamic about this relationship and or business some of you need to make the change in your career and your business life you need to put more effort behind something because it could be very fruitful for you okay um yeah uh the potential outcome The potential outcome is the magician and the king of cups. This that just says manifestation. Whatever you have been praying for, hoping for, wishing, manifesting, doing ritual, moon cycle, whatever, candle magic, it's here for you, Aquarius. It's here for the taking. It says that all you need to do is change your perspective on something. Why didn't it happen in the past or maybe with a past person? You need to see something differently. Ask, your, ask yourself the questions, why? Why haven't I? Some of you, if it's career and finance, you need to control your spending. You need to control your spending in terms of some of you could be emotional spenders. Some of you need to control your emotions. Maybe you or you just weren't balanced enough. Or you need to control your actions so that you can, or, or this is reaction. You need to control your reaction to things that are out of your control so that you can have what it is you really want. Whatever it is you've been praying for, a, a legitimate relationship, a committed, maybe married marriage, um, a new business, something about control, money, working on yourself, seeing things from a different perspective. It's not always, well, he did or she did. Well, what did you do, Aquarius? What could have you done different? Did you react to certain things? Maybe not in the manner that you should have acted. Some of you need to get things together in terms of your finances. You need to ask yourself, are you a good partner, a business partner, or, you know, a love partner? Look at your resources. Some of you need to get a flow, a, a flow of consistency in your money, consistency in your emotions. It looks like your manifestation is coming to life here, but not before Aquarius asks the questions of themselves. What can you do better? How can you be better? Okay. So that is the outcome here. The universe is gifting you with something or someone. Okay. And it could be a way of making money. A pathway is opening up for you. Some male in your life, or you could be the male, is um, it's, it's center stage here. He's taking, there's a great, uh, let's 
spotlight here in your life for some reason. He's either here to help you. There's somebody who's going to be compassionate, helpful, generous to you, with you. Things are changing for the better. And that was your hope and your prayer a long time ago. And now it's happening for you. Let's get some closing. Okay. Right. Retirement. Either some of you are at, at that age and you need to be focused on that. Or some of you, this is, this is retiring an old way of making money going into a new. And we see that here. The other one is memories. Um, I just got self-reflection, remembering the time where maybe you didn't make the best decision. Remember what you did or what you didn't do in order for you to have the life you want. Not for somebody else, not about somebody else, but this is about Aquarius. Let's get one more for Aquarius. And we have moving. Now this could be a physical move, home move here. Like I said, someone could be in a housewarming. I don't know. Um, but someone needs to move or moving on from, you know, from a, a different way of, you got a new pathway opening. For you so moving some of you keep the faith here because things are turning around for you and we see that here in the cards Aquarius if you feel like this reading resonated with you go over to the website book your own reading there um, also you can take advantage of the text question you can text your question to the number below receive the answer to your question pay for your question all on your mobile device take advantage of that um, there's a coupon code below also if you want to book your own reading. I think it's $10 off any reading, $35 or more, okay? Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.